secret server Oracle DB2. We will be concentrating on these four systems: Teradata, SQL Server, uh, Oracle, DB2. This will be our source system, mainly in RDBMS size. Okay, I will explain all this later because uh, this is the first part. I want to give you an idea what uh, to uh, which way we are going to do the uh, course. Like in uh, uh, a data warehouse is a data base, so you need to understand the basic database. Okay. So uh, we will uh, study how a database is modeled. Database uh, modeling is an another uh, section. Data. data modeling. Data modeling is an another uh, section or category where we model our data. That means an example of a data model. So this is an example of a data model. This is an example of a data model. We have number of tables. See, each table you need to consider as an Excel sheet. Each table you need to consider as an Excel sheet. See, see these are small, small tables like an Excel sheet. We need to consider. This is one Excel sheet. There will be another Excel sheet. There will be another Excel sheet. So uh, these are the different known as tables in a database. This is one table, this another table, this is another table. This all the tables. Alright? These tables mm -hmm. are not two dimensional form. Two dimensional means X or Y axis. We have number of columns and rows like the same as the Excel sheet. Here we have number of columns and number of rows and we have the data entered into each cell. The same thing happens here in databases also. We have number of rows and columns and we will be having different cells. We will enter the data into that cell. In Excel, how we identify or define the data like C5, C4, C3. But in case of databases, what we will do is Oracle uh, concept, there is something called a row ID. There is something called a row ID. What this row ID is, this row ID will directly point towards the data. The Oracle system knows where this data is stored. They won't use any C3 or this kind of uh, cell identification method, they will use something called a row ID that is used uh, by the Oracle system to uh, identify the data. Uh, we will go later and see all this, uh, how a schema is look like. See, a database which is an organized collection of logically related data that can be shared across the organization. As I said before, if I am uh, making you one Excel sheet of this table, I'm making an Excel sheet of this table, and I have already an Excel sheet of this table. Okay, how I'm going to re how I'm going to relate these two tables? Is that possible that I can? Relate these two tables. In uh, Excel sheet, it is not possible, but in Microsoft Access, you heard about Microsoft Access? Yes, yes. In Access, we have, uh, we can make this relationship. Access is a small database structure. Uh, we are not concentrating on Access either. That is very small. We will concentrate on the other databases that I told you before. These are called relational databases. RDBMS. Relational Database Management System. What this RDBMS shows is, this RDBMS shows a relationship between each table present in the system. So, in 
in this example, we have how many tables here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven tables. These seven tables are related to each other. Why? Because, for example, take this is a customer table. This mm -hmm. is the product. This is a product table. Okay. So how we identify which customer brought what product? Which customer brought what product? If we can establish a relationship between these two customer and product tables, we can retrieve the data through the user interface of a database and we can see which customer brought what product. It's not possible when the data is stored in a file structure or an Excel. Retrieving data is not possible and making relationships is not possible. And we can't share that information to the other organizations if the data is stored in the file uh, or PSV. In all these formats, it's not possible to relate the data together. Delimited means there will be uh, some kind of delimitation, like tab delimitation. Okay. And CSV means it is format separated value, CSV. All these are text files. They are uh, commonly known as flat file in the VA uh, uh, space. It is not flat file. So, in you know, RDBMS only, we can relate the data and we can share the data. We can make reports very easily, combining.